Hi guys, Johnny here with Johnny Watson Gaming. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be speed painting 15mm Roman Cavalry. Catch you after this. Welcome back guys. And today we are continuing on with our speed painting series and we are painting these 15mm Romans from the Plastic Soldier Company. So just as we did in the painting the Roman legionaries, we'll be keeping the cavalry units on the sprue to help with our speed painting. First things first is come in with some base coats and we're gonna come in with a couple different base coats. First one is a black and the second will be a light brown. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna use a beastie brown by Vallejo. And the black here I'm using is a model air black also by Vallejo. We're also going to go over the tail and the mane with the model air black. So it may not be historically accurate, but I'm going to come in with a red to the reins. This is to help them pop. If I come in with a brown or a muted leather color, you'll just lose them within the horse. So. We're going to go with a red and we'll highlight that up later. So the fro next on the horse's saddle and we're going to come in with a war boss green by GW. saddle itself I'm going to come in with a leather brown by Vallejo. So the base colors to the horse are nearly done. It's just the trinkets and the eyes to do. So I'm gonna come in with the eyes with a bit of white, uh, a couple of little um, trinkets also in white, and then I will do some gold ribbon. Coming in with metal colour gold to any ribbon areas, also any buckles that may be on the horse. Come in now with a full body wash of Army Painter Strong Tone, and this will be applied to all of the horses. Okay, so while the horses are drying, we come in to do the riders and we start off with the flesh tones 
and we're going to come in with a flesh base by Vallejo. Next we're going to hit all the armour areas with a metal colour steel. As this is speed painting, I am not taking any precautions to be careful or worry about paint getting onto other areas. I'm just getting the paint down. We'll be covering that up in later stages. So to all cloth areas on the model, I've decided to come in with a red and I'm using Gory Red by Vallejo. So next I'm going to hit the shield with a royal blue by Vallejo. The spear shaft is painted with a beastie brown. using a leather brown to all the leather or strap areas on the models. So a little detail I almost missed, there's a fur topping on the some of the riders caps and so I'm going to come in with a scrag brown by Games Workshop. Again going to come in with a full body wash. Be very liberal with this, just get it all in the nooks and crannies so this is going to help give it all the depth that you need to sell the model from a distance. And to do this, I'll be using an Army Painter Strong Tone again. So whilst the wash is drying on the riders, I come straight back to the horses and I start doing some highlights. So this is speed painting. I'm only gonna pick out some of the things that I feel are prominent and that is the reins. So we're gonna come in with a scarlet red to the reins just to brighten them up a little bit and then also the body of the horse itself whilst I've got the red out I also come back in to the riders and highlight the cloth areas same principle with these guys I'm only going to highlight a few things so that will be the cloth the red the shield the blue and then the armor itself. So 
going to re-establish some of that royal blue back onto the shields. Using a model air colour steel, I'm going to come in and I dry brush over the armour areas to give it a bit of a highlight. So one last final detail on the horses, just to really set them off uh, and make them read as horses. I'm going to come in with a few socks and some uh, markings on the nose with a bit of white and the horses are done. There you go guys, another simple, non-complicated scheme to help get your miniatures on the table as soon as possible. So guys, leave your comments below, let me know how you feel they turned out, uh, is this something you'll try on your army? Thank you very much guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. In the meantime, be safe.